Hi everyone, it's Anita Foster with the Arlington ISD and we are at Spear Elementary School with our round of celebrations for our Teachers of the Month and we have just surprised, a very surprised Ms. Rodriguez at Spear Elementary. Now you're in the hallway with your kids, you teach, you teach music and they're all out in the hallway because it's picture day here at the school and your principal, Ms. Savala, makes a big announcement that you're the Elementary Teacher of the Month your face was priceless. What was going through your mind? Uh, well, I'm the only Rodriguez in this building, so I said, is it me? Did I hear right? Is it my name or what is going on? Or do I need to go somewhere? It was priceless. Stephanie Savala is our proud principal here at Spear Elementary. You had a hallway full of kids this morning. Tell us about their reaction and what makes Ms. Rodriguez so special. Yeah, they were super excited to see Ms. Rodriguez win this award. She's very deserving. And Ms. Rodriguez is a teacher that truly understands the meaning of bringing community together, building relationships with children. So that's why she deserves this award is because she does all of those things, goes above and beyond. Her relationship with the kids is the most crucial point. Um, um, for her and everything that she does and then bringing out parents bringing out community and just involving our kids in any kind of fine art experience That's her priority and she goes above and beyond with everything and it's so important in the Arlington ISD what you do With music with fine arts when you're seeing children um, Especially young ones starting to learn about music. What do you experience from them? What I really like is just they eager to learn and um, you are the rock star. They think that you're a rock star and they really want to be engaging and then participate and want to perform, want to do so many activities and see them smiling and the happiness that is priceless. Absolutely. I'm going to come back to you in just a minute, but we also have our superintendent here, Dr. Matt Smith. What a fun morning celebrating a music teacher. Tell us about the importance of fine arts in the Arlington ISD. Yeah, it's really amazing to hear what Ms. Rodriguez is doing with her students each and every day. Arlington ISD is known for their great arts education and music education in particular, but it doesn't just exist at the high school level in our band programs. They're amazing but all the way down to the pre-K level, we're engaging students in the arts in Arlington ISD. Music education is a part of who we are, and Ms. Rodriguez helps make that happen and come alive for our students. And you're such a phenomenal teacher, and you're not new at teaching, almost 25 years in the profession and 16 years here in the Arlington ISD. What would you say to someone who was thinking about pursuing teaching as a career? Um, what advice would you give them? First, uh, be flexible. Uh, and be persistent and uh, never give up. Good advice for any of us any day, Ms. Rodriguez. All right, team, we are uh, we're finished up here, but we're gonna we're gonna get back in the car because we have another stop to make, and we're gonna surprise someone just like we did you. So <laughs> you watch the video, you can see their surprise face too. Congratulations and congratulations to you, Principal Savala, for leading such an outstanding team of leaders in the district. All right, y'all stay right there. We're gonna be back in a flash. We're at our second stop of the day at Carter Junior High, where we have just surprised Miss Elena Lopez Greaves as our teacher of the month. <laughs> we came right in your classroom. There was a whole pack of people. What were you thinking? Oh, I was shocked. I wasn't expecting that today, but I was pleasantly surprised. So I recognized a few faces and I was just like, wait a second. So. We saw the reaction from your students who were cheering for you. And Elena Lopez, our proud principal here at Carter, that does not surprise you in the least. Tell us why Ms. Greaves is such an outstanding teacher. I can't say enough great things about her. She has just come in and totally changed our climate. She's a positive person. She always approaches things with a smile. Um, and she's contagious, like she's got her team fired up about being in school and she's a team leader. Anything that we need, she fills the gap. Like if, there, if we need something, she's jumping on it. Um, we had some bad news that came recently and she's on top of it and already working through how we're gonna, you know, um, what we're gonna do for that family. And so she is just all around a great person and we love having her here. Our kids are very fortunate. She's a highly effective educator. So um, we're just blessed to have her here at Carter. You know, and you mentioned something too about the compassion. That's the heart of a teacher that you have. So you're a fairly young teacher, new in the profession. How long have you been teaching? This will be my second year. 
What would you say to other young teachers who maybe are just about to get out of college, maybe they're coming to our teacher job fair on April 20th, what would you say to those, to those young teachers as well? Let's just say just to be yourself and just to understand uh, the importance of making a connection with the students. I have a background with, uh, in mental health and counseling, and that's where I learned how important it is to not only help uh, children grow academically, but also mentally, socially. And so fostering those connections with those kids is what's really important. Well, I think you're only on your second year, but you're going to have an outstanding career. Dr. Matt Smith, I'm going to turn to you because I think Ms. Uh, Lopez Greaves mentioned something that's so important, and that's focusing on the whole child. Absolutely. I think one of the most exciting things for me is such a young teacher in her career, and she's already mastered something and that we're not just about teaching content we're about meeting kids where they are and connecting with them and ensuring that we know their road to success for the future and we help support them to get there so really excited to see her career continue to flourish and thankful for all the work that she's doing absolutely uh, principal lopez thank you so much for all you do to pour into young teachers you just keep going you're going to have an outstanding career here in the arlington ic we're really proud of you dr matt we are not done we've got another stop coming we're going to make another surprise just like we did to you it's really fun from our end uh, to see the reactions of everyone and thank you too because your co-workers wanted to join us today and i think that speaks volumes to the impact that you've already made at this school in a short period of time so thank you all uh, for joining us and y'all stay with us because we're gonna make another surprise here in just a second and we just made another surprise visit to Lamar High School where we popped in on a fake meeting <laughs> that your principal and others set up for Christina Hanthorn, our Teacher of the Month for High School. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, you were in a meeting room and you were waiting for people to come in and then the superintendent walks in and a bunch of other people and you said, this doesn't look right. No, suddenly this is a little bit more formal than what I was anticipating, but okay, here we are. What, what was your initial reaction when you heard Dr. Smith say you are the teacher of the month? You know, officially, it's, or at the beginning, it's really overwhelming because there's so many times that we just come to work, we do our jobs, we do the best we can. By the end of the day, we're wiped out, we're exhausted, and we're ready to go home. Um, this is so special because I've been just, it's been a really tough first semester coming into second semester. And to have that recognition for our team, our program, myself, our students, it's incredible. And it's a breath of fresh air to know that the community and AISD is so well aware of what's going on. And I, I want you to talk a little bit about your day-to-day -day job. You're in our alternate curriculum uh, department but it takes a lot of perseverance and a lot of passion to do what you do. So what's the motivator for you? You know, it started when my boys were really, really young. I have three boys, two of which are on the spectrum for autism and were diagnosed, thankfully, very, very young. Um, we had great support, great services throughout their entire childhood across so many different states and districts. And I wanted to be able to give back in my teaching to the families and to the kids specifically and be able to build a team that's empowering these kids every single day. So from the time that we hit the ground running at 7.15 until we're loading the buses up until 3.15, every moment is filled with flexibility and pride and sometimes even a ton of empathy because our kids are all being challenged and faced with so many different unique abilities as well as challenges. And our job here, on top of the education and all of the TEKS, is to make sure that they can then progress into the community at their best level, whatever that may look like, either it's 18 plus or into a day hab. And it's incredible to get to watch the growth from freshmen until some of our kids stay until they're 22. So to watch that entire growth pattern is really awesome. Well, I will say this passion that you demonstrate is why you're the teacher of the month. And I know your principal is incredibly proud of you. Leslie Maroney, our proud principal here at Lamar High School. Tell us about your perspective of Ms. Hanthorne. When I think about Ms. Hanthorne and her work that she does with our kids, um, I think about, number one, meeting the individual needs of so many students. And so that's her priority every single day, along with her team um, and other staff members. They work hard to meet the needs. She doesn't complain. Uh, she just does the work that it needs to take care of the social, emotional, the academic, and other needs for our kids. But she's a trooper because, as she said, she walks in here every day, and she does just 
just that. Every kid is made, uh, made to feel special because they, they are, and there are Vikings, and to know that she treats them as part of our school, uh, they get to do announcements with us and things of that nature, and so without a doubt, I am so grateful to have um, a Christina Hanthorne on our campus, along with her team, and I think that's important to know that uh, when you think about the work of the alternate curriculum uh, classroom, it's about a team, and so she works with her team, she leads her team, she praises her team, and she keeps pushing them to meet the needs of the kids. And so I appreciate her, appreciate her as a teacher and as a leader on our campus. And we see why you are the Teacher of the Month, uh, Dr. Matt. We've heard themes throughout today's visits, and one big one is whole child education. Um, talk to us about the importance of having education available for every student. Yeah, I think it's really special when you hear the stories like Christina in our system and we know the work that she's putting in each and every day. And it's not just for some kids, it's for each and every one of our kids in our system. And I think that's what I see in these actions and hear in these actions and it's really inspiring because we want our community to know that every student that walks through our doors, we're going to take great care of them, we're going to challenge them and we're going to support them along the way. We know this work for any teacher is not easy work, so we really appreciate you and all that you do. And Principal Maroney, we appreciate you for being the leader that pours into leaders like Ms. Hanthorne. Congratulations on our Teacher of the Month for our high schools. You very much deserve it. All right, y'all, we have one more stop to make. We're gonna surprise one more person, just like we did you, um, and we're gonna uh, find out who that is as our employee of the month outside of the classroom. So stay right there, we'll be right back. <laughs> and all of this cheerleading is for our last stop at our administration building where we have just surprised Angie Baza as our district-wide employee of the month. You were pretty surprised when a ton of people just all came in your office. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're still surprised. I'm still, I'm still shocked. Tell us what you were thinking when you saw the superintendent come in. Oh, I thought it was just going to be a meeting, like a hi, because I've never really talked to you. And then I saw everyone else and I said, what's happening? <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about your job here in the Arlington ISD, what you do every day for the district. I'm a budget analyst. Um, we uh, take care of pretty much the money that goes out uh, to the campuses and we provide support to them on how to spend their money and if they have any questions or concerns, we also keep up with the regulations from the state. So. You have big work every day. How long have you been doing this for Arlington? Uh, three years now. Okay, wonderful. Your supervisor is here with us, our director of uh, budget and finance, Sheena Jocelyn. Sheena, what makes Angie such an outstanding employee? It goes back to when she first interviewed for the position. Um, she since told me that she never thought that she would get the position. Uh, she'd never worked in school districts before, and she's just taken a brand new position to Arlington ISD and grown it way beyond what I could have thought, and I know there's a lot to come. It's a very big system, and so I know that you guys all have very unique roles, and every one of them matters to keep the district uh, running very smoothly. What does this mean to you as the superintendent, Dr. Matt? Yeah, I think it's really important to point out this, this award, Employee of the Month, there are a lot of people in our school district that add to the student learning experience each and every day that aren't just in the classroom, whether it be a budget analyst position, a maintenance worker, whatever it might be in our system, everyone contributes to the exceptional learning experiences we have for our kids. So I'm extremely grateful for Angie and her work. And we have a special guest with us to close out our visits today. Stephanie is with us from EECU Credit Union. What'd you think of the $2 bills? <laughs> I've never really seen them, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good lunch today. Uh, Stephanie, you're with EECU Credit Union. You guys have a passion to support our teachers and our staff in education. Tell us a little bit about why you make this visit with us every month and distribute $2 bills, uh, $50 worth to every one of our employees. Yes. Well, first, it's my favorite time of the month to go around with y'all. Exciting to give out the money and to your very deserving staff. But we were actually established 90 years ago by educators for educators. So our passion is for our educational system and supporting Arlington ISD and all of your employees is exactly what we love to do and give that little added bonus, you know, when we come see you. 
And we appreciate you and all that you do. Um, we can see by all of our uh, friends that are with us, Angie, you've got a lot of support in your department, a lot of people that appreciate all that you do. And we're gonna wrap it up there with our four visits today all across the district, congratulating our teachers and our employee of the month, Angie Baza. Congratulations thank and thank you everybody. We'll see everyone soon. Bye. Thank you.